Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Today we will talk about the Muslim mastermind and the father of algebra, Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi. Al Khwarizmi was born in 840 CE during the Abbasid era under the rule of Al Ma'mun. He was closely associated with Baitul Hikmah, an educational institute established by Abbasid Caliph. He was one of the first directors of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad in the early 9th century as he was an excellent Persian mathematician. You all must be wondering what is the House of Wisdom? Caliph Harun al-Rashid founded the House of Wisdom where well-known scholars from many nations came together to share ideas and information. It was an educational and research institution where scholars made many original contributions to science. Later on, it became a center for the study of mathematics, astronomy, medicine and chemistry. It had the largest library in the world but was destroyed in the siege of Baghdad in 1258. Al-Khwarizmi oversaw the translation of major Greek and Indian mathematics and astronomy works into Arabic and created an original work which had a great influence on the advance of Muslim and later European mathematics. The word algorithm is derived from the latinization of his name and the word algebra is derived from the latinization of al-jabr. His important contribution to mathematics was his strong advocacy of the Hindu numerical system which he recognized as having the power and efficiency needed to revolutionize Islamic and Western mathematics. The Hindu numerals 1 to 9 and 0 which have since become known as Hindu Arabic numerals were soon adopted by the entire Islamic world. Al-Khwarizmi's other important contribution was algebra. A word derived from the title of a mathematic text he published is about 380 called Al-Kitab Al-Mukhtasar fi Hisab Al-Jabr Wal Muqabala which means the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing his book is considered as the foundational text of modern algebra as it provides an exhaustive account of solving polynomial equations up to the second degree and introduce for the first time the fundamental algebraic method of reduction completion and balancing he used the three methods in creating a formula for solving a quadratic equations he was the founder of abstract mathematical language as he wanted to simplify the problems faced by indians and chinese of analyzing problems which is widely used across the world in today's time he was credited with the development of lattic multiplication method for solving large numbers a method algorithmically equivalent to long multiplication this method was later adopted by europe by fibonacci al khwarizmi also contributed in astronomy as he developed the first quadrant an instrument used to determine time by observation of the sun or star the second most widely used astronomical instrument during the middle ages after the astrolabe another important work by al khwarizmi was his work sindh hit zij On astronomy it's a detailed description on Indian astronomy as it covers topic of calendars calculating true position of sun moon and planets mashallah table of signs and tangents spherical astronomy astrological tables parallax and eclipse calculation and visibility of the moon he innovated a complete version of ptolemy's geography consisting of a list of 2402 coordinates of cities throughout the known world Al-Khwarizmi also made several important improvements to the theory and construction of sundials. He made tables for these instruments which considerably shortened the time needed to make specific calculations. His sundials was universal and could be observed from anywhere on earth. From then onwards, his sundials were frequently placed on mosques to determine the time of prayers. Subhanallah. Al-Khwarizmi also wrote about the topic of astrolabe in which he highlighted the Jewish calendar and also he wrote a political history containing horoscope of prominent person his demise in 850 CE was a great loss for us as he would be remembered as one of the most seminal scientific minds of early islamic culture so brothers and sisters as we all study algebra and came across algorithms at some point of our life and wonder who was the one behind such complex theories and where the concept came from Well, we all know now that it was Al-Khwarizmi, the father of algebra, who dedicated his life in finding out the solutions for complex theories. He contributed extensively that whatever calculations we do today, addition, subtracting, multiplying and dividing are linked to him. He was the one introduced finding unknown mathematical quantities by using algebra. So brothers and sisters we all should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we are the ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
where almost every things have been simplified and easy for us and in return Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us to remember him during the call for prayers. So we should make it a habit of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only in the time of need but also appreciate the blessings which are bestowed upon us. Insha'Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with knowledge and wisdom as He blessed Al Khwarizmi. So we also can make some change in the society and in our own lives. If you find this video helpful, give this video a like and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.